He's making a list and checking it twice. I'm going to find out who's naughty or nice. It's that dreaded naughty list that we uh, so often try to avoid, the, that naughty list that we try to uh, make sure that we are not on. But truth be told, we've all been naughty. We all have sinned. We uh, all have uh, uh, done wrong. N none of us is perfect. In, in fact, uh, you know, to, to err is human, is uh, a saying that goes around. And so if we are uh, sinful, if we do wrong, if we uh, don't get it right all the time, what does that mean for us? Well, it means that we need a Savior. It means that we need a God who loves us. It means that we need um, someone to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. And so as we think through um, uh, the meaning of Christmas and why Jesus came and our need for a Savior, it always leads us back to the point that on our own, we can't accomplish salvation. That on our own, we can never make our way back to God. And so we need someone's help. And so God sends us his son, wrapped in human flesh, fully God and fully man, in the same package. And he, he comes as a child to live through life just as we do, just as we have, so that he can experience all the things that we do, yet show us how to do so without sin. And that's hard for us to, to comprehend, that you can go through life and, and, and never do anything wrong. Because if, truth be told, if we look back through our day, there are probably multiple cases, places, multiple times where we've gone, well, that wasn't the right choice. I could have done that differently. That may not have been uh, what God would have wanted me to do. And so, sometimes we sin by committing sin, by, by doing the wrong thing. Sometimes we commit sin by not doing the right thing. And so how is this in our life? How is this in our How do we uh, uh, go through and experience this? Well, to come out on the other side, we need a Savior. We need someone who showed us the way. And then we get to live out of that grace. We get to live out of that favor that we don't deserve, that is not ours to, to keep or command, that it's ours to receive through faith and then to make progress in. As we experience God's grace, we ought to, it ought to draw us closer to Him so that sin is less evident in our life and that as we go through this life, we then help others find that same grace. Because we know how much we've been saved from. We know uh, the, the benefit and help that we get from a relationship with Jesus. And so this time of year, when uh, those who are a people of faith and those who are not are drawn to a Savior, drawn to, to Jesus, whether they realize it or not, their uh, people are more open to hearing about the gospel this time of year than any other time. More so than Easter, more so than, than any other point in the, in the year. There's something about Christmas that helps those who are people of faith or not think about Jesus and the gift that he gave us of his life, the gift that God gave us through his son, that we might have life forever with him. Hey guys, I hope uh, this uh, finds you doing well. Hope this finds your heart uh, uh, readying itself for our Christmas celebration. And I, I, I hope that you are uh, doing well and looking forward to seeing you at some point this season. Hopefully we get to see each other either uh, this coming Sunday or uh, Christmas Eve or maybe just out and about. Uh, I pray that God is doing, uh, God is blessing you this season. And uh, hope we get to see each other real soon. Have a good day.